Hi, primary kids. This week in the Book of Mormon, we learned about the prophet Abinadi. God sent him to teach the wicked people of King Noah. Abinadi told the king and his followers to repent and keep God's commandments. They didn't listen. They were angry with the prophet. They didn't want to change. But one person believed the prophet. His name was Alma. He decided to repent and leave the wicked king. Alma wrote down what Abinadi had taught. He started teaching other people about the gospel. I will listen to the prophet. Even if other people make bad choices, I can always choose to follow God. The wicked priests of King Noah knew the commandments, but they didn't keep them. Let's sing the song, Keep the Commandments, and I want you to listen for some of the blessings we get from keeping the commandments, okay? Keep the commandments, keep the commandments, in this there is safety, in this there is peace. He will send blessings, He will send blessings, words of a prophet. Keep What are some of the blessings we get from keeping the commandments? Did you hear it in the song? Safety and peace. Abinadi had a lot of courage, didn't he? He stood all by himself and bore his testimony of Jesus Christ in the gospel, even though all the people around him didn't like what he was saying. We can be like Abinadi. We can stand for what's right, even when we stand alone. We're going to sing the song, I Will Be Valiant. The first part of the song says, the Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter days. Do you know what it means to be valiant? To be valiant means to be determined and courageous and brave, just like Abinadi was. So God needs people who are going to be valiant and brave, even when it feels hard, who follow the teachings of Jesus and serve his people in a loving way. The Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter day, who follow the teachings of Jesus and serve And then the next part of the song says, I will be his servant and keep my covenants valiantly. This picture shows that anyone can be a valiant servant of God. You don't have to be a missionary with a name tag. You can just be you and do what you do every day in a loving and kind and serving way. The Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter day. The next part of the song goes, I'll stand for truth, I'll stand for right. The Lord can depend on me. Every single day you will have a choice to make about who you will serve, and I hope that you will choose to serve the Lord. Let's sing the whole song, I Will Be Valiant, and we're going to stand up and march during most of this song. Will you sing it with me? Here we go. Who follow the teachings of Jesus and 
blessed with safety and peace as we do our best to keep the covenants we have made and keep the commandments of the Lord. Now, since it's Mother's Day, we're going to sing a few songs about mothers. Remember that song we learned last year, Dear Mother? It's actually a song called Grandmother, but we changed the words to Dear Mother. So let's sing that one first. You give me a kiss, you give me a hug, you smile when you see me too. Every child in the whole wide world had a grandmother just like you. You read me a book, you sing me a song, you whisper you love me too. I wish every child in the whole wide world had a grandmother just like you. I'll try to be If we would have been at church these last couple of months, we would have learned, I often go walking. Let's try singing that one. Let's sing one more Mother's Day song. This last song that I'm going to play for you is a new song that we've never sung, and I don't know if many of you have heard it, but this one's for the mothers out there who might be listening. You are more than enough. You pray. 
a home, a family, and all love them just as much as you love me. Then maybe you'll finally see you have given enough for me, a gift that will last through eternity.